can see, you know, even GRT is way overbought right now. Uh, RSI is at 83 right now. Uh, the last time you had a daily RSI all the way up into the 80s, you have to go all the way back to... I mean, you have to go all the way back to, to early 2021. Like this is the second highest RSI in the history of RGT. Uh, so, but let's talk about you know price. So RGT broke out of this downtrend right here. So you can see we broke out of this downtrend right here, uh, which of course I think will be very bullish. Uh, we also broke above. Now this is even more bullish, you know, at least in the short term. Uh, we also broke up, broke above, you know, these resistance right here. Uh, let me zoom in for you. We broke above these resistance. You know, the last couple of times we got rejected. So the first time we tried to break above seven cents, got rejected. Second time, got rejected. You know, finally, you know, we broke above seven cents. And we are right now, you know, retesting this right here. So, again, what used to be a resistance is now a support. So this is a support right here. So if we do get a pullback, you know, I am expecting, you know, these levels right here to hold. If this doesn't hold, you know, we're more likely coming back down to around five cents, basically down to these lows. If we don't hold these levels right here. All right. Now, uh, these are these are tougher resistance. You know, a dollars. These are tougher resistance. Uh, you can see, you know, so much confluence in this range right here. And in fact, if we actually zoom out and we go to the bigger time frame, uh, I wish I had more data with this project. Uh, if we go to the bigger time frame, you can see that's exactly where the twenty-one weekly EMA is which you know is extremely important because if we can break above the 21 weekly ema uh the price is more likely to continue to go higher uh but i think it is going to take you know a lot of volume uh you know to break this resistance right here so you know this might be something where you know we try a couple of times before we finally break above it, uh, just like you know, it took not one, not three. I mean, not one, not two, but you know, it took us three times to finally get above uh, these local levels right here. So this is a big. This is a. This is going to be like the toughest range for you know GRT. Uh, at least in the short term. Uh, but the fact that we have managed, you know, to break above all of this right here, you know, the fact that we are trying to retest the 21 weekly EMA uh, is something to really be proud of. So, you know, legit targets, if we can break above this 21 weekly EMA, now, you know, this is something that is definitely going to take some time, but some legit targets I'm looking at right now is, you know, a retest towards 15 cents if we can get above the 21 weekly. And if we can break above, you know, 15 cents, this is, you know, very bullish for this project because, you know, really your next targets is around 30 cents. And that is, you know, a double from 15 cents. There you go. So, you know, GRT is looking very good right now. Uh, but this is definitely not the time uh, to take a position. Because, you know, in the short term, we are already overbought. RSI, you know, up in the 80s. If you use the Bollinger Bands, you can see exactly where we are. We already blew past, you know, the upper band. 
which is a huge warning. You know, whenever you have something like this, always, always anticipate, you know, a pullback. You know, in a in an uptrend, you're anticipating a pullback down to this orange line. Uh, if we go back and we look at the bull market, the bull market performance. Want to make sure you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, this is a bull market right here, right? Uh, so you can see, you know, during the bull market, uh, price broke above the upper band. We had a pullback down to retest the orange line. Broke out again, pullback, you know, down to retest the orange line. Even though we didn't make contact, we still had the pullback. Uh, we went crazy, you know, later on during the bull market. This is the, the euphoria phase, but you can see that we did, you know, come back to retest the orange line until we finally, you know, broke the trend and we started the bear market. This was the beginning of the bear, the bear market right here. All right. So, I mean, right now you can see this is not going to be sustainable you know we're going to see a pullback you know sometimes uh very soon and you know we're looking at you know somewhere between a 20 to a 30 percent pullback from the recent highs so if you are trying to accumulate uh this project this is not the best time to position yourself uh just be a little patient you know, wait for this pullback. And if we do come back to around, you know, these range right here, uh, somewhere around six and five cents, uh, this is where, you know, it makes a lot of sense uh, to start accumulating again.